This may look like an ordinary room, but for many musicians, it has become their stage. COVID-19 safety guidelines have forced us to stay in our homes as much as possible. While we remain in quarantine, the need for live music has never been so urgent for concert goers. Spring concerts and festivals like Coachella are being postponed and even canceled, but for musicians in the live music capital of the world, the show must go on. Many artists have turned to platforms like Facebook Live and Twitch to broadcast their shows in real time. Some Austin local musicians are putting on performances straight from their homes. I settled for this, uh, the, the corner in my living room, which is the corner where I usually sit down and play. This is my living room. I might, um, it might be complicated right now to move to a different room. Julia's living room doesn't exactly look like the downtown bars and music venues she usually performs at, but she likes to look on the bright side. I decided I made the conscious choice to trust that things are going to be okay. You know, it's, at some point you're like, okay, I could go down the rabbit hole and start thinking that I'm going to die miserably in pain and, and poverty. <laughs> or I can go like, okay, you know, everyone is going through this. It sucks, but we need to figure it out. And, you know, and so that's, I decided to, for the second option. <laughs> Cece Jensen performs at restaurants in the Austin area, but until further notice, she too is forced to put on a show from her house. The first issues that arose once I realized I was going to have to live stream was just to figure out how. Like Julia, Cece misses performing face to face to her audience. There, you can't really put into words the, what you have when you have a live audience and, and just that live moment. You're there and it's just a a matter of, it's ju just an, an exchange between me and the audience, me and the musicians that are with me on stage, and, and it's fun. No, I'll, I'll definitely have people that'll put comments and, and I'll get a few little live nuggets of information as I'm playing, but it's, and that's nice, definitely, but it's just not the same. You know, it's different, and especially you play a song and then there's no one clapping, you're like, oh, Right, there's no one in the room. <laughs> Live streaming musicians have noticed some benefits to their situation. My equipment is already all set up, it's all there. And that's, that's been kind of nice, a nice break. One thing that it's been really cool is that every time I do a live stream, there are people from like 10 or 12 countries. It's gonna change the way all musicians um, interact. Live stream concerts are a safer alternative and they give us a chance to distract ourselves while we remain in quarantine. Reporting for the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism, I'm Amanda Marvin.